It's Star1978, Star8378, Nicole Caterosa. I'm in this. Um, at the moment, um, I'm watching um, for the first time. Like I'm Again, I'm trying to be in a time of observance, um, quiet observance, of course, but um, just watching the screen as they like these new words come about something called pomp and circumstance never heard of i've heard of pageantry before never really heard it used by the locals or whatever was able again like amongst humanity i'm a celestial body mother in nature hands of time so uh meaning the generational pass forward for our kind, whichever that is. Again, I call it dry humor. Um, Linda, there's, uh, I came in earlier and I'm watching, I mean, it seems like for the most part, I mean, I stayed away from television um, as best I could because I can't tell the difference between sick humor and dry humor. And I did not know, I, I've heard this thing between a space and council, whatever, about on Once Upon a Time in like some fairy tale type manner um, of how do you know things. Um, I've heard the great houses. I've heard this theme in the good, in the Game of Thrones, this TV show. Where again, I can't tell if it's sick humor or dry humor. Um, when I was younger, I was held as the Celeste. I was held in a facility or a compound or a, I don't know, a Long Island campus with visitors that were, I guess, on someone's schedule, perhaps the holiday schedule. I don't know if they were on the common schedule. Um, I didn't, I guess not, because I didn't know they were arriving. Perhaps the principal knew or superintendent or whichever. Um, but I'm listening. I did not know. They, they mention in this House of Dragons, this, I'm trying to piece together some of the fanciful uh, nuances that they've let out compared to where I was and where I've, been hurt a lot. Um, the news mentioned this morning something about a woman whose head was bashed in so badly uh, and she had no recollection of it. I'm like, I don't have my roster. I don't know what the whatever has done. Um, but apparently there's a House of Lords and then there's the House of Commons. Um, I don't speak inside the House of Commons normally, like a hello, a goodbye, a smile, a pleasantry. Um, the new, there's a new food truck operator um, in the area. I'm assuming he was nationally secured. Um, he wanted to shake my hand and I said, I said, please, I said, uh, no touch, <laughs> no touching on the street. I said, how about an elbow? So I, again, I am never quite sure being this way, I know what their social nuances are. I mean, I've, I've been at many, many common gathering where they shake hands, they touch, they are professional um, throughout my real estate career, but I am not a politician. I'm a celestial body. It's completely different. I was meant for different. Um, and then I'm realizing that there's a House of Lords. Then I'm listening to how they brought together this. And knowing this is far away from here. Different pattern. Same colors, different pattern. Um, then they mentioned later what was a, um, acknowledging... I guess what still has a parliament, what's still acknowledging 
um, King Charles the third um, and I of course am in a section in the lower 48 that was not highlighted I don't know why I don't know what that has to do with my national security and safety and some of the things that have I've endured while here um, I was watching House of Dragons as well about the respectable um, princess that came of age. Um, there is a very real visual whatever to something that they allowed in Lloyd Harbor that was there on the first day. I believe when Mark King was there, who looked like my twinning, um, but that memory again is like a fuzzy transmission of coming in and out. Um, but then he disappeared and I was left with Bradley and Christopher, um, who sat behind me and, um, throughout the years, Bradley took my pencils and broke them and got me sent to the principal's office. I didn't know what a principal was, but I want, I was almost in tears. I think it was Mr. Moore sent us. And then I came back and they were in the middle of like a math, like exchange of information on ratios. And I almost, I like, I was so lost. And I was like, I was on the bounds of tears. Um, in simplicities of the delicate for which I was held originally. Um, and I see the semblance of that. I also see the same character who looks very much like a pencil breaker. Um, uh, later dressing the princess in what looks like boys clothes i at i mean they're common clothes but they're sloppy common clothes and again and then bringing her out and again it had this very aladdin feel to it i mean like again it is it sick humor is it dry humor because my humors are being poisoned biotoxin in a manner that's I mean, without provocation, it's happened. And without announcement, without knowing whose hand is safe and who is not, if I need to hold an arm to steady myself, who am I allowed to hold as an arm just to walk, to steady my gait if I start to lose my balance? None of this has been pronounced. Um, so I do notice these things in the televised mythological realm of storytelling for which goes back in formalities a long, long time. I really, I mean, I would have loved to have learned the family tree, the family names, the heraldy, the nuances, the, now there's something called a changing of the guards. I've heard Linda mention this my entire life, the changing of the guards. I had no idea what it meant. It is just a household saying. Um, she was, um, her mother, I think she got that from her mother. Um, so I'm just watching, I'm watching the top of the cathedral, which looks like the skeletal remains of a Viking Norse ship inverted and sitting atop this stone masoned um, foundation. I mean, the, the architecture and the aesthetics, I would have also have loved to have studied all things that just weren't reachable or obtainable as a celestial body that's been hurt around here, pursued, hunted, harmed, information withheld from, I don't know why, kindness, caring, and a hand to hold respectfully 
in a respectable marriage, a respectable man withheld, I don't know why. And then just progressively getting worse and just not knowing. I mean, there's, there's nobody, it's, there's nobody to reach out to. I mean, like at this level, I mean, they know I'm a celestial body. They know I have the hands of time. They know in this English, they put up the NFL representative that has the same celestial calendar as myself. He gets to use a market maker service on our time in our grid. And yet my story has been bastardized. And in House of Dragons, it shows that the virtue of the princess is it's treason to even hint that it was the princess's fault. Things I'm learning in this common area from something that has a House of Lords representative that is willing and able to teach. I have tried so many times, just I'm the one who meets this eHarmony person, the first one I put the application in. It was a personality profile. He shows up, says, what if I told you I never want to see you again? I'm like, well, that would be your preference if I'm not what you, again, you didn't have a photo and I don't really know how this works. I said, so if I'm not acceptable, I, I mean, I, I understand that. And so, um, but of course, dressed like it was a meeting, like to be hired by like the banking department at Chase. I mean, I didn't know. And I even said to him, I said, is it, am I, is this, is this not appropriate? Is this too much? Like I, again, I don't date. So I, and I don't know what appropriate is in trying to find, I mean, like, Trying to find one person that I may have missed, that I have definitely missed out in whatever is going on in this sick and dry humor argument. So this is how the news presents to me a learning opportunity today. And my legs, I honestly, at this point, I don't know where it's coming from, but it just feels like I've seen the Linda today. I was trying to make some kale with broth and onion and garlic. I'm like, I don't even have like how to stay safe at like a witch's brew to like counterbalance. I don't even, I can't even get the correct laboratory results for what biotoxins they're plaguing me with that is causing this dysfunction in order to try to find a remedy for it. And I know I'm not the only one. It's just that I, I've been a target for a long time on a fight that is unfair, unjust, and I don't know, unbeknownst to me, and I don't know how to even survive this fight and who's in this fight. Earlier, the King and Queen Camilla appeared before both houses of Parliament in London, lawmakers coming together to pay tribute to the Queen. I am deeply grateful for the addresses of condolence by the House of Lords and the House of Commons, as Shakespeare says of the earlier Queen Elizabeth. She was a pattern to all princes living. Another note about today's service, something that we noticed that was rather sweet. A hymn from Queen Elizabeth's wedding was sung during the service. It honored the monarch and was a nod to her late husband, Prince Philip, really telling that story of that enduring 
love story, pretty much, David. Um, there is still a lot more to come. The Queen's casket will now have to be flown here to London. This is an opportunity for the people to mourn her. She will lie in state for four days, and then her funeral will be held a week from today. We are going to be bringing you the very latest as it happens. Live in London, I'm Shirley Alicott. Back to you, David. Thank you, Shirley. History in the making, and you and the rest of the world are there to witness it. Stay with Eyewitness News, both on air and online. For more reports from Shirley and reporter Nina Pineda, we will have full coverage of the national period of mourning leading up to the Queen's funeral. Let's get a quick check of the weather and the... So that's the real news. Um, today is September 12th, 2022. Um, at, I don't understand as a celestial body with the hands of time. Why I was never even brought into a scheduling anything in order to help myself and be part of whatever um, in It's a certain bloodline. I know that it's known about. I know that it's a hot topic um, in certain common conversations. I don't know if it's, I mean, I would imagine the House of Lords all have the same blood. That is one of the requirements. What I'm unclear about is why I was cast out or being held in common whatever um, without access to even knowing, um, what blood runs through my veins and that it is a health risk and hazard to be with whatever and whatever, whatever, whatever. I mean, the simple, most basic care of one's person and what needs to be spoken about and learned in a respectful manner it wasn't even taught. Not even for survival, if I must, might have like upset someone along the way. But then again, in the order of the planets and the order of the alignment, a celestial body sits higher in the hierarchy than tradition and formality. I mean, it has a place amongst the choir. I don't know why the formalities were never taught in anything that made sense. And it wasn't, and it wasn't easily accessible. Um, and it's it's so confusing from this four decades being held this way by whom I don't know um, here's the so season one episode four of this house of dragons You wear a crown. You also call yourself king. Once we smash the triarchy, they name me king of the narrow sea. But I know that there is only one true king, your grace. My crown and stepstones are yours. Where is Lord Corlys? He sailed home to Driftmark. Who holds the stepstones? The tides, the crabs, and 2,000 dead triarchy corsairs stake to the sand to warn those who might follow.
rise. This has an arrow mark of poignancy, I would suppose. And I really don't know how they story tell elsewhere, which is why I suppose that rule of not being able to question one's virtue is somehow enforceable. Um, but here we are. There she is dressed in beautiful proper attire or formal attire whatever in her daily whereabouts and then this bag of sloppy clothes shows up and so she puts them on i myself i see this very symbolic there's the way that linda used to dress me when home country sent the sweaters my grandmother and grandfather were alive my no not my no no were alive and there were hats, there were sweaters, there was pageantry out amongst the family, amongst the whatever, um, to be known, to be seen, to be heard. Well, actually not to be heard, but to be visually notated of respectful whatever um, in a peaceful way, um, which obviously was picked up at some point um, and I'm not quite sure where the slide from youth with respectable even when Mark King was there or that's the name that he went by um, with the red headband and the red plaid skirt and that that's how he wanted me to dress every day and I said that I would try based on how it, whatever was Linda was buying at the Gap. I, it would depend seasonally on what she had access to. Um, and then at some point, all of that just disappeared. And then it became this bag of sloppy clothes, which I did not like. Um, I remember I got a shirt. I don't remember where it came from. It's one of these times I disappeared and then came back with no memory. Um, it was a shirt from Nike that said, just dome. I think it was just do me or just dome, D-O-M-E, with a Nike thing on it. Um, I also disappeared one time and came back, not only with a Pendleton shirt, looked like a rugby shirt, specific colors, I remember what it was. I have a photo of it, I think I put it on Facebook. Um, but there was another time where I came back with wooden shoes at the bottom with like a tan top to them um, and tried to walk on the terrazzo floor of the high school in CSH. Um, and it was really tricky because the wooden bottoms of these, they call them clogs, C-L-O-G-S, didn't bend. And I'm like, how do the Dutch walk in these things? I mean, is that real or is that just one of their heritage pieces? I mean, it was interesting. But I, I wore them. I wore them to school. Not often because I couldn't really walk in them, but...
And when I was in Hofstra, um, whoever invited me there, I brought a bag of clothes at some point. At some point, I had a black and yellow jacket that said bear. It's a snow, like a snowboarding jacket, even though I didn't snowboard. And then a blue and black duffel bag. And in my blue and black duffel bag, I had a couple of pairs of jeans, a couple of pairs of t-shirts. That's all I had. And I stayed over in someone's room and I would just go into the duffel bag, find whatever fit and whatever was clean and get dressed and then go about my day. And I have no idea. I mean, then he followed me. I were not followed me, but I invited him to meet Linda and Lou. They weren't home, but I showed him the basement apartment I was in or the semi above ground apartment I was in the lighting, the, what it looked like, what my day-to-day -day life looked like. He knows who he is. days I put on a baseball cap I feel I look just as disheveled as this I mean maybe a step above I tried I try to whatever but for a while I had my olive green wool coat uh, that was three-quarter length it looked like a mage robe um, not sage but mage robe it had a wasted cinch um, I wore that while I was at Starbucks uh, in full view of whatever, even though I was wearing jeans, again, it's what I have accessible. Um, and it's what's socially acceptable, I suppose, in this area. Um, I really don't have fashion police following me. However, somewhere between sick humor and dry humor, I know that that's a factual point of most importance. <laughs> who broke my pencils once delivered me a letter from somebody who had really nice handwriting who knew that I was alone a lot that and writing me in blue pen now I don't know if these are children teasing the person that is there that they don't like because that's always a possibility in the back of my head or if it really truly came from a group of concerned people that actually cared. I wanted to believe it was somebody who actually cared. I cried on the way home when I read it. However satellite works, I'm sure that was picked up. But uh, the delivery of the letter was a little awkward um, in whatever, whatever, whatever. 
And that is the only time that that person called me at home, said he had to deliver me a letter. That was by uh, H-E-I-M-S's house. Sullivan was across the street. Um, it was on Midland. I know these names are important when I lived in the Glen. go into this rest of this even that was a bit much um so i fast forward until they get to this part about the movie screen not not a movie screen but it's a gross representation of this um like old theater but that they do it in i mean Again, I, I get it. I just, it's not who I am. Um, it's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Cataruza. It's Earth, solar system, Milky Way universe, galaxy is broken. But it does make mention if somebody is putting together a set of rules um, in order to clarify something if they have a fight going on currently or at all times, I don't know. Um, to avoid this strategic disruption in a woman's life um, for any of the children of next gen since it wasn't helpful in my day. September 12th, 2022.